Let's chill. All right. Today I'm joined by 1082E. They're currently 13th in the world in skills, and we're going to talk a little bit about their robot. So let's go ahead and introduce yourselves first. I'm Carson. I do build and CAD. I'm Justin. I do programming and build. I'm James. I drive and build. I'm Nick and I do programming. Yes. Can I have one of the builders talk a little bit about the robot? <coughs> yeah, sorry. Um, so, as you can see, our drivetrain runs at 450 RPM. That's 600 RPM. So meta. Um, 600 RPM blue cartridges on, at a 3 to 4 ratio. And we have six motors on the drivetrain, really speedy, really quick. Helps us maneuver around our field real quickly. So after that, you can see we have this clamp on the back. Clamps into the goal. Works really well. We have this little rubber bumper on there that just helps us tilt the goal. And can we get a closer view on this? Yeah. Um, <laughs> As you can see, that just really helps us tilt down on the goal. Really <laughs> I like nicely. this geometry a lot. This is a really good geometry. Take notes, take notes. Yeah, yeah, it just very, very good clamp. And then that works directly with our intake system. As you can see right here, we have several cut flex wheels in different ways. Thin flex How does wheels. the cut flex wheels help in like, what do you think? Is it better than the regular ones? What do you think? We found it to be better because, uh, the, <laughs> the gaps in the flex wheels really just hook into the hole in the middle. They really get <laughs> Anyway, that hole. Yeah, just really well, really works well when intaking just like this. And then we can actually get that into our redirect system. Oh, that's fast. Do you have any sensors for that? Yeah, I yeah. See one up here, right? Yeah, sensors. And that's kind of Nick's expertise, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, you have dear. to talk in nerd voice. Every sounds like it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have this sensor, which we use for auto redirect. So once the ring comes up the intake and hits the sensor, we can automatically tell it either depending on how James uses it, either if he's pressing down these two buttons, it will automatically send it back out the front into the chamber. And this is this the is, chamber, by the way. <laughs> chamber. <laughs> okay, this is really nice. I like the so do you just like custom cut all the parts here, the plastic parts? Yeah, I do that. Uh, I use Inventor, um, industry standard software, and what we do. Uh, to cut all these parts, we fortunately have a nice laser cutter in our lab and it makes real, cutting really nice, really efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah these yeah. plastic pieces, um, we actually, alongside laser cutting them, we actually use a heat gun and that lets it be a little more malleable and we can shape it to the exact shape we want, like these things that, so that they can push down on the wall stakes and as well as this bottom intake plastic here and all of these redirect plastics. Yeah, some things I've noticed are really interesting are just you know, your uh, guider, guiders here that's on like a plastic plastic piece and also having a doinker with a rubber stop on there is that to grab the goal like during a rush maybe? Yeah, yeah, and it also helps us clear the corner during match. That's really nice. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna give this robot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's here! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>